figure skaters were promised cool competitions on posh venues. But the Federation did not fully keep its word. A new season in figure skating is just around the corner, and again it will be unusual. Due to the lack of international starts, our athletes will have to look for motivation for further development at domestic tournaments, and to help them, the Russian Federation has come up with a plan to improve the competitive calendar. Athletes were promised to create all conditions for training and performances at the best venues in the country, but it turned out that officials did not fully keep their word. There are questions about the start schedule and infrastructure. And the Russian Jumping Championship seems to be a great idea, but hardly feasible. So why are innovations in Russian figure skating no good? Sanctions against Russian figure skaters have forced our federation to pretty much break its head over the schedule of competitions in the new season. The heads of which Alexander Gorshkov and Alexander Kogan were recently re-elected, were determined to protect the interests of athletes and support them in every possible way in the absence of international starts. To preserve the motivation of the country's best athletes, officials were forced to look for non-standard approaches to the organization of the competitive process, and at first glance they found them. The main news of recent days was the statement of the president of the Figure Skating Federation that the famous Series Cup of Russia will cease to exist next year. Instead, an analogue of the Grand Prix, held under the auspices of the ISU, will appear. The standings will consist of six stages, which will completely duplicate the start dates of the foreign series. In addition, the calendar will be replenished with a very important jumping tournament, which will have the status of the Russian Championship. It will be held in Moscow from December 3 to 4. The national championship will be held on December 20, 25, and the Entertainment Cup of the First Channel will begin on January 21 and will run for two days. The main thing is to keep our athletes and coaches, to keep the level of our figure skating at the height at which it is now. We are waiting for the Congress's decisions in June. But we must be prepared for any development of events. Plan B is already being developed, in principle, or Plan X, as it should be called, Alexander Gorshkov shared his plans for the future at a press conference after his re-election, hinting that the Federation is already ready to create new competition formats. However, the revolution in Russian figure skating took place only in words, in general, our sport remains in a state of stagnation. This is indicated by several factors at once. Firstly, Renaming the Cup of Russia and adding an additional stage will not change the situation with the lack of diversity of participants. Of course, the competition among Russians will be incredibly high, but it will not be so interesting to watch their rivalry without representatives of other countries. Figure skaters from the CIS and China are unlikely to reach these starts, despite the assurances of Alexander Kogan. Secondly, there are significant problems with the infrastructure and geographical location of tournaments. The period of isolation could have been used to experiment with competition venues to launch the popularization of figure skating in the regions, but instead the functionaries followed a simple path and chose ice palaces where teams from the Continental Hockey League play. It sounds great, if not for one but, there are no elite ice rinks in Samara and Perm. What can I say? If Gorshkov and Kogan themselves admit that they have to adapt and hold competitions at Canadian venues. Even in Moscow there is no large skating rink for figure skating, which shows that the discipline is not in the best condition in Russia. An interesting suggestion of the officials was the introduction of the Russian Jumping Championship calendar. The tournament, which was only part of the Channel 1 Cup, will now have a special status. Alexandra Trusova's chances of winning the gold of the adult national championship have increased enormously. And in general, this idea is very good, a new type of program will allow athletes specializing in technology to realize their potential. However, there are questions about the format of the tournament. As the experience of the Channel 1 Cup has shown, it is very difficult to make a jumping tournament attractive to a large audience. It is even more difficult to organize equal opportunities for all participants. Of course, it is more than likely that the competitions of women and men will be held separately, but then you need to create requirements for the start, which will be aimed at revealing the professional skills of skaters. Will athletes jump cascades? 
Will they be allowed to choose the content themselves, or will they have to show mandatory elements? How to maintain a balance among representatives of different schools, because it Terry Tutbirds' students dominate among women with force. It is necessary to take into account many nuances so that the jumping championship of Russia looks like a serious status competition and not another show program. Whether the Federation will be able to solve this problem will be known very soon, but for now it remains to be hoped that in conditions of isolation our skaters will find motivation to develop even without international starts.